Hello, everybody, and Happy New Year. It is great to see you all. Welcome to Brunswick's 2023 Media Day presentation. It is, uh, first of all, so nice to be back in person. Welcome to everybody uh, in the room. Welcome also uh, to those who are joining us on our live stream. Uh, this is the first time we've been in person since 2020, and I guess for most of you who were here virtually uh, last year. But I'm excited to be back. We have a great exhibit. We have great materials to share with you about our technology journey, and particularly where we are with our ACES strategy, which you remember is autonomous, connected, electrified, and shared, and how that now threads through our products. And it's also the subject of the two new product uh, launches we'll be talking about today. Uh, you may notice, those of you who know us may also notice that we've really refreshed our brand. Uh, it's a much more contemporary looking brand now. I think the look and feel is a nod to the more tech forward nature of our company, which I'm very excited about. And you'll see this look and feel throughout the presentation. So uh, some of you know a lot about Brunswick. Some of you know a bit less. We are the by far the largest recreational marine company in the world. And I'll talk about some of our brands and businesses. But our mission <clears throat> is really to transform people's experiences on the water and beyond. And when we say beyond, uh, we mean really two things. One is um, connected experiences with our on-water experiences. The other is we do deploy our technologies into non-marine applications, mobile and industrial applications. We're a lot about individual technologies and systems, and I'll share uh, those with you. But we're even more about integrating and networking those solutions to provide something that can't be obtained elsewhere, a fully compatible solution. We even go beyond that and develop ecosystems that involve not just products and technology, but infrastructure and commerce and everything that provides a true uh, go-to-market solution. We think of that as our unique capability. We sometimes refer to it as smart products inside smart experiences, which I think captures it really well. Now, I want to share with you a short video that captures some of those products and technologies and uh, experiences and also uh, some of the wonderful aspects of our new brand. So I hope that raised your heart, right? It certainly gets me pumped every time I look at it. I'm very excited about that. Um, later in the presentation, I'll be talking about the products and technologies that you saw uh, in that video. And actually, you can see many of them live in our interactive CES exhibit, which I'd really encourage you to, to go visit. That new tagline, Next Never Rests, really talks about our dedication to innovation now and into the future. We invest a lot behind it. We will continue to do that into the future. We know innovation is a marathon and not a sprint, and we're in it for the long term. It is integral to our culture. 
So uh, for those of you who are a bit less familiar with Brunswick, here are a few fast facts. Uh, about 50% of all the recreational boats in the US fleet, which is about 10 to 12 million boats, are powered by Mercury Marine engines. Mercury is a Brunswick brand. Mercury also has about 45, well more than 45 percent market share in the US and Canada of outboard engines. Outboards power about 90 percent of all recreational boats. And we're gaining market share everywhere. We have uh, 18 of the world's leading boat brands, including three of the four most recognized boat brands in the US. Sea Ray, Boston Whaler, and Bayliner. We also own the biggest shared access boating experience in the world, Freedom Boat Club, which is an alternative to ownership, a subscription model, that now has more than 370 global locations. Now, finally, we're a really innovative company. We have more than 550 patents granted just in the last five years. So we're a real leader in marine innovation. Let me dive a bit deeper into some of those uh, business segments. First of all, Mercury Marine. Mercury Marine is the only large-scale outboard engine manufacturer in the US. It has its headquarters in Wisconsin, in Fond du Lac, and also its biggest manufacturing facility, which is now 3 million square feet of manufacturing space. Um, it makes about 300,000 engines a year, from 2.5 horsepower outboards to the incredible 600 horsepower V12 outboard makes racing engines up to 1,750 horsepower. And we continue to invest because we continue to gain market share. In fact, we just completed a big manufacturing expansion and launched a new V10, which is like the smaller brother of the V12. So here are some of the products from Mercury Marine, and we'll be featuring them in our exhibit. The first one is the V12 that you see here. It is the most powerful outboard in the world by far, 600 horsepower. Uh, but it has a lot of great fuel economy features. And what I want to talk about is the fact that it's the only outboard with an integrated automatic transmission. That was the world's first. But a lot of other great features too. And then its smaller brother, the V10, will also be featured. We launched that just about a month ago. It has a lot of great features too. But one of the most important is it has a 48 volt, 12 volt dual mode alternator that produces about six kilowatts of power. Remember, a lot of boats will have three or four of these engines on the back. So that allows us to really rapidly recharge advanced lithium ion battery systems that power all of the house loads on the boat and means that you don't require an internal combustion engine generator on the boat, which I'll talk about uh, a bit later. All of those uh, Mercury engines are now sold with advanced controls as well. A bit about our suite of advanced digital and electronic technologies. Um, we have a whole range of brands, just some, a few of which are shown here. In the lithium ion space, we own Mastervolt and Relyon, advanced battery technology companies. We own radar, sonar, display, and digital integration companies like Simrad and Lowrance and B&G and C-Zone. So a very exciting array of technologies from the propulsion and beyond propulsion side. These are just a few examples of the technologies, those marine technologies. But once again, it's these technology individually, not just the hardware content, but the software and cartography content are quite remarkable. But it's really all about how we integrate them into a seamless, single solution for every boat. And I'll talk about that uh, a bit more. For those of you who don't know much about um, boating, I would say that uh, boats are, have become like a cross between an aircraft and a house. There are multiple propulsion systems that are all digitally steered, digital throttle. They're controlled by a joystick. They have autopilot and all kinds of advanced features. We have sonar, radar, station keeping, and then all the house systems like lighting and infotainment and air conditioning and refrigeration. All of those things need to be networked together and integrated so that they can be um, controlled through a single interface, which is intuitive to the boater, and that's what we do. Here's just a, we have 18 boat brands I mentioned earlier. This is just a selection. We cover all of the segments of boating, from saltwater fishing to cruising, aluminum fishing, pontoons, uh, tow and wake sports. Um, 
This helm here is from a Sea Ray 370 Sundancer, which is a 37-foot cruising boat. It just gives you an idea of the sophistication of the control in a modern boat. In that display up on the left, you'll see that shows a plan view of the boat is where we control all the house systems from a single location. And then you can see a split uh, radar and sonar chart on the, on the right side. So a really integrated solution. We, uh, our boat brands are, um, we dedicate a lot of resources to our boat brands. We keep them extremely fresh, both from a design perspective and from a technology perspective. We launched about 60 new boats just in 2022, and we continue to integrate a lot of technologies into them. Um, the last boat that you'll see here, which is rendered digitally, is that 370 Sundancer again, this one, that I'll talk about a bit more in a second. This gives you an idea about, this is the 370 Sundancer again, how we integrate our own systems into this boat. So this boat is powered by twin Mercury V12 600 horsepower engines. They're all digitally controlled by a joystick that has autopilot and GPS station keeping. All of the advanced systems on the boat, all the electronic and digital systems are controlled by the C-Zone digital network. It's displayed on a SIMRAD display and mirrored onto a mobile application. We have SIMRAD radar and sonar and that advanced power management system that replaces the internal combustion engine on a boat. Now we do this not just for this boat, for, for all our boats and for many other boat manufacturers. The last thing I wanna talk, we have a lot of other businesses, but the one I talk, wanna talk about is Freedom. I mentioned 370 locations. We acquired Freedom in 2019 with 170 locations, but it has grown exponentially. 85,000 members now in a subscription boating lifestyle experience. Uh, just this year, we um, opened locations in the US, in Canada, in the UK, in France, in Spain, in Scandinavia, and we are continuing to globalize this incredible business. I raise it for a couple of reasons. One is, it's a really interesting demographic. Freedom members are younger and more diverse than new boat buyers, so it's an adjacent demographic for us that leans into the future. The other thing is, it's really important for our electrification strategy. If you think about where electrification works best, it's where the fleet is centrally managed, where you can have a limited number of infrastructure requirements, and freedom fits all of those things. So let me go just a bit deeper into our ACES strategy. You remember, that's autonomy, or ADAS, connectivity, electrification, and shared access. Those are, you know ACEs from other verticals, or some version of it, or at least the themes. Those are the driving themes for a lot of innovation across verticals at the moment. Our role is to develop and tailor systems for the marine, uh, for marine applications and the marine market, which is a challenging environment for some of these technologies. So if you think about just autonomy and electrification, Unlike most road vehicles that operate mainly in a plane, boats have significant pitch and roll and heave, so they operate out of plane. Um, they have high control latency. What that means is if you push the throttle or hit the brakes of a car, it responds pretty quickly. If you do the same thing on a boat, the propeller has to turn and bite into the water, which takes more time. So we have to figure that into our calculations. There's wind and waves and current, which means that if you Take your hands off the control of a boat, it doesn't stay still, it moves. So that has to be figured in. And then we have a very unstructured and sometimes harsh environment. Very few lane markings, for obvious reason. Uh, very few signs. So we have to figure things out without some of those cues that can be used in automotive um, applications. And then in terms of electrification, there are some real applications for electrification in marine, but it's, the physics is more difficult. Um, planing boats, which is most recreational boats, require high power, much higher power than on-road light-duty vehicles do. They're very weight sensitive, um, and they also have no regeneration capabilities because they don't have brakes. So think of boats much more like aircraft in terms of applying electrification. There is a subset of boats and aircraft that can be electrified, but there are quantities where we need to use electrification to supplement 
um, existing solutions. We think Brunswick is equipped to win in autonomy and equipped and will lead in electrification. Let me just talk a bit about autonomy and ADAS. I mentioned already, we already have solutions that make boating more intuitive, that allow you to control a boat with a joystick, have autopilot, um, have GPS station keeping. But we are moving forward and have well in development, more advanced sensor-based solutions for obstacle avoidance, for auto docking, and for close quarter maneuvering. At our show exhibit, which I really encourage you to visit, we have an incredible display of autonomy with a interactive helm and a 140 degree huge screen that allows you to simulate being in a boat with autonomous features. <clears throat> These are some short clips from that um, simulation that show uh, boats docking, uh, avoiding obstacles, and uh, yeah, eventually you'll see it tilt. And in fact, the, the screen is so huge, you almost feel like you're in the boat. So if you get seasick, take some Dramamine before you go to the exhibit, um, as, you, as you can see. But I, um, I don't want you to think this is all about simulation. We have real boats really in development that really do um, auto docking and obstacle avoidance and object detection. You see one of our development boats here. Nobody's at the helm. It's docking itself. This is from a recent media event. It will soft dock against, from any location, in any orientation, it will soft dock against the prescribed uh, location. It will also maneuver to avoid um, obstacles. In fact, won't dock the boat if it thinks it's not safe. So this is in development and coming to market in the next few years. Connectivity is really part of what we offer already. We have moved tremendously. We have an incredible portfolio of connected uh, solutions now that offer a variety of functions, including real-time control and monitoring and security features when you're off your boat, enhanced boater safety, which I'll talk about in a minute, trip planning, trip recording, access to services, to information, to training, and even e-commerce on an app, which of course is probably the most convenient place to do it if, because you're on your boat realizing what you need. So here are some of our connected solutions. The first is called First Mate, and it actually won a Consumer Electronics Show Innovation Award last year. It is a wireless lanyard. Essentially, it's a thing that you put on your wrist in place of a physical lanyard. If a member of the um, crew goes overboard, it automatically alerts the captain and the emergency services. If the captain goes overboard, it also stops the boat. So it's a tremendous um, security feature. Also shown here is um, our Vessel View mobile application, which is a Mercury app that connects you to um, uh, propulsion-related information and services, and that can actually also be used as a supplementary screen. And then finally, uh, you saw in a little bit out of order here, um, our Season mobile app, which is our most comprehensive application that allows you to access all those features that I mentioned earlier remotely from your boat, remotely controlling some features on the boat, um, trip planning, security, e-commerce, and all those features I mentioned earlier. So it is an unmatched and very comprehensive application. I'll talk about electrification again. Uh, despite the challenges that I mentioned about marine application, there are a couple of use cases that are very valuable and very valid. The first one I'll talk about here is that replacement of internal combustion engine generators with adv advanced high-capacity lithium-ion battery systems with power management. Um, if you uh, know something about boating, and I can, um, you can see some scenarios here, it is very common for people to take their boat off to a location that they like, maybe a cove or a beach, to drop anchor or to beach the boat. And then what they really want on all day is not the propulsion engines, it's the generator. Because the generator powers the air conditioning systems, the refrigerator, the infotainment, and all of those house systems that are essential for a fun day on your boat. So we can replace all that with the Fathom system, which is constructed almost entirely from components and systems from our list of businesses and brands. Um, it allows you, think of it as a plug-in hybrid for house loads. You can plug it in at the dock overnight to a 220 or 240 volt service. It charges the battery. 
And then uh, when you're underway or when you want it to, the alternators will recharge the lithium ion battery system, whether the boat is running or at rest. And you can imagine if you have three or four of those engines on the back, you're producing 20 to 25 kilowatts of electrical power. So the charging speed is extremely rapid. So it is just like a plug-in hybrid for um, house loads. And then shared access, I mentioned earlier, our Freedom Boat Club, which is not only an incredible um, asset and way to go boating, uh, it's extremely convenient, but it is also a really important asset for electrification. And we plan to introduce electrical infrastructure to support electric boats into Freedom locations progressively we think, because we think that is a, um, one of the most optimal ways to introduce electrification into the marine environment. So let me turn to a very exciting part of the presentation today, the products that we're launching uh, at CES uh, this week. In fact, I think the press releases will go out today. The first one is our Avatar 7.5e electric outboard. It is the first electric outboard in a series uh, being produced by Mercury Marine. It's a 48 volt outboard uh, designed for a whole range of uh, applications. It's designed with exactly the same design criteria as Mercury's other product for quality, for functionality, for ease of use. And what you'll see a second in the video is we've designed it not just for operation, but for transport and portability. So let me introduce you to Avatar and let you see how it might be experienced on a boat. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a very serene experience. Um, you can see the beautiful display on there. It's an extremely high resolution uh, display that can be viewed in daylight at any time. It's not just an outboard, it's a whole connected propulsion system with batteries, with digital displays, with specifically designed propellers, and as you saw there, with an app that allows you to monitor uh, while you're on board and also remotely. As I mentioned, this is just the first in a series, and in fact, in our CES display, you will see the first three avatars, not just the one here. This is a commercial launch for the 7.5e, but we're also showing some of the other products in the lineup, which are higher horsepower than this particular application. You see the very cool um, tiller handle that doubles as a carrying handle there. And to go along with the Avatar, we're introducing a brand new boat brand called Veer, which is designed for the next generation of boaters and specifically for electric applications. Uh, it's the latest brand in our portfolio. We knew there was a gap in the marketplace for a boat dedicated to electrification. So this um, boat has all the features you need, specific storage areas for Avatar um, batteries, um, cable trays and runs for uh, all of the wiring, etc. So it is a remarkable boat and very functional. It's really a multifunction boat that can be used by anybody. You can tow it behind a passenger vehicle, small SUV. It can be used with Avatar electric outboards or with uh, Mercury's conventional four-stroke outboards. It's actually constructed from uh, rotor-molded polyethylene, so it's extremely durable and designed to be that way, but with a lot of really cool features, the coolest of which is it's affordable because a lot of electric product is not. And we need to make electric product affordable for it to be sustainable and commercially viable and that is what uh, VIA and Avatar are all about. So uh, I mentioned this display that we have, which is absolutely spectacular. I want to thank all the people who are in the room who had anything to do with that display because it is absolutely wonderful. And I really encourage you to go see it. So I just want to give you a quick walk through the display so you can know what to expect. We affectionately call it the Aqua Arena. Uh, for obvious reasons, at least they will become obvious as I uh, walk you through it. So here you see on the left, the veer with an avatar. This is that interactive helm with the 140 degree screen where you can do uh, interactive docking and operation of a boat. You go up on the deck here and you can see that 370 Sundancer with the V12s and the Fathom system on board. Let's take a photo next to those V12 outboards. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. The, um, and then the Fathom system you will see 
right back there, um, attached to the V10 with a 48 volt alternator, and then the three abattoirs there. So it is an unbelievable display, very immersive and extremely interactive. The reason why you might want to take a photo next to those V12 outboards is they are 11 feet tall. Uh, and if you are thinking of what an outboard might look like, think about 10 times bigger. Uh, so it is a very cool selfie experience just to, just to be next to those outboards. And there we go. We are exhibit 6225 in the LBCC West Hall. So please come and visit us. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. I hope you will come and visit us. We have a lot of resources available for you. We have media kits. Um, you can get a card from some of our representatives with a QR code with access to all our media. If you need anything specific, contact Lee Gordon, who's our head of public relations and communications. He is at the back of the room and uh, willing to uh, uh, help with anything. So, uh, thank you very much for your attention. I've really enjoyed being with you today. I'd like to open the floor for a few questions, but I will hang around afterwards and be available for questions. So, thank you very much.